It's the mindset Free your mind Free your mind Thing. Um, I want to greet the item officially in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Kidamari El Celestia the first conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, elect of God, light of this world. Give thanks in those beautiful and divine name, Empress Men in the first, Ayla Celestia the first. And without no further delay, um, we are going to introduce Muta Baruka to the Mindset Program. Bless and love, Muta. Yeah, blessed man. Give thanks. Give thanks for having you. Know. Yes, honorable. Great. Great honor for you to have the program here today. Um, we, we just have play white man country. Is that um one of the most controversial pieces of work that I put out there? Me, me don't make controversial music, man. You know, make controversial music, you know, people's controversial, you know, them thinking, you know, this is, 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 is sometimes it's political and sometimes it's Rastafara, you know. That, that poem is a thing where we did see in England, I go on, and Linton Quasi Johnson, who come from Jamaica, write a tune name, England is a bitch. I don't know if you know that poem. Yes. England is a bitch. Well, my contention was if it's a bitch, why stay there? Mm. So we're going to understand that it's no good to stay in a white man country too long. If you know this is a say left Clarendon and go to Brixton, that yes. is that is which part Linton come from. But I know says him, him not responsible for being there. Because his parents in them time they they don't make the move them. Mm. But it didn't matter to me still. It just an idea that say England is a bitch and we're not going to stay there. And now we see say a whole lot of black people want to stay there, but they might run them out. They might run real tight, you know. So that that is where the, the inspiration comes from. It's not good to stay in a white man country too long. And and years before that um we we you know the history of um Caribbean people or African people coming to England. Yeah, the wind rush um, in the in the sixties, in the early sixties, and that bring a lot of African people to to yeah, England. Yeah, from all over, especially the Caribbean. It them come from especially the Caribbean. Mm. Major, majority, of the, but. We see of late that um, some of those people that, that, that came to England um, and been here for that period of time, we, 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 do, for them children, we see a lot of them was being deported back to Jamaica. Yeah, and them too, not only the children, them, them too. There are people that they had 40, 50 years and them, I tell them, say them have to go away. And them people that make them life over there years ago. So you must see how wicked and cruel. White supremacy is when you come on to African people. Yet still, Boris Johnson did offer some Chinese. He said, we're taking at least 3 million Chinese in, a, yes. in, a, in, a, in a England. So you must know how terrible the system is back in Sway. Even though it's we fight all in the Royal Air Force, you know, during them time, they had a war in Germany and France and all them something. We're fighting at the Royal Air Force. And also, we help to build. Liverpool, we help people build a whole heap place in England. Bristol. And now they turn around and do this. So we have to know where we are right now. White man country, we have to focus on Africa region. And even on the Caribbean, because we have a majority rule in the Caribbean. So that is really where we have to focus on. I mean, we understand the building your life in England still. But building your life in England is one. But are you living? Mm. In England, 
that, you know. Is a is a is a serious thing. And the 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 the, the I within the song or the poem are agitated for us to go back to Africa, right? Um talk to yeah. me about your first time going to Ethiopia, Shasha. No, it's not that it's not I we never agitated to go to Africa, you know that. You know that, you know. It's white man country we never agitated to go to Africa. All we just said, I said, was look on the condition, because we probably left and think that the streets of England mm. was paved with gold. You know, we we'll find the coal and Queen Elizabeth up there. So we just <laughs> have said, politically, say, check out the thing. You know, Powell, other races, didn't know the things that get a blow. The skin of them, all of these things, black people in the African front. Now, it's too late now to tell black people to leave, leave England. Because we say our people build up them life around England. Mm. So them have a fight now to stay there. And we still start again, it starts against them where after you fight for England, they might tell you, well, we don't really need you because again, can you go home? You know, see, the, the idea of Africa never come in. I mean, Africa come from other poems, but not that one. Since it's not about that poem there. We just address that, you know. Rastafari, give thanks for the clarity. So, to the question I know, the, 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 the I first time going to Ethiopia and Shashamani, yeah. what, what was um, the I impression of the place back then to the I? The impression? Mm. Well, it kind of if and no, no if and but and all the way, given where. We say, I will be part of Jamaica and them, the conditions where they will live under because of some um, doctrine, you know, some, some religious doctrine. You know, a man, same kind as Zion, but when we say, how he might live, it's like he might live worse than when he lives in Babylon. You know, and the conditions now, it's a little better, but then you know, we have the tribal war where I do things to the Rastafari community who did help us build up schools and all them something there. So when we got there first, it was uh, exploring what is this Ethiopia that we always uh, talk about and hear about. And we find out say, Ethiopia is the cradle of civilization, obviously. And it was good to go there to see for yourself what is what and what is not, you know. My first choice is in Africa is not Ethiopia. You know, people might find that very strange to say, but my first choice is not Ethiopia in Africa. Because when I talk about Africa, I talk about Africa, 50 countries. My first choice right now would be Ghana or South Africa. That is where I would have really realized and recognized right now, Ghana or South Africa. Ethiopia is almost like a, a, a emotional thing, you know, like true he's a rasta. You have to talk about Ethiopia. Even if the conditions is not conducive to Rastafari. But true you say I still have to come from Ethiopia. And I still have to give the land Shashamani as a thing. It's a long time I will man on the fan Shashamani land and things should be better according to where I still have to live. They have perceived, say, you know, giving the land would help black people to come home and develop and evil help Ethiopia in its time of stress. But what we say is that a whole heap of things happen on the land where it's it almost like you, you make you feel weird and funny that I let Lassie give all of this land and this is what has become of it. So, you know, and even though we see a whole heap of one still has struggle mm. on it. It is good that them have struggle still. But we really can't let Jamaica have struggle and go back over and next place have struggle. You know, if me have me I got Africa, I would have to live better than how I live in Jamaica. You know, because that's the purpose of going to Africa. If man has said Zion, if you don't hear some man now when, when Rasta did him say Ghana, Zion, I don't know how that come up in a Rasta talk. But Rasta tell man, say, well, you know, him dying good, him, him gone to Zion. Even that, even last time, me and him talk about Bonuela and and Tim Ghana Zion. I don't know 
When I did just as I was I never hear Rasta talk about Zion as a place where dead Rastas go. I thought Zion was Africa. And I still see that as Africa. You know, so our clarity is that Africa is where the art there. You know, but my art is not into struggling again. After at my age, I know we got struggle again. You understand? We are doing enough things and now to help educate and return the people and mind to Africa and consciousness to Africa. That means now we got really live in a condition where Babylon put me in and now we have to go in Africa again, go live the same kind of life. I don't know that. All right, since the I said that, Zane, um, of recent, about a month or two weeks ago, we saw in Ghana that, um, you know, they were having some form of issue with a young man um, getting to a particular school. School. Zane, that's can't go in a school. It happened everywhere. And not only that, I talked to the brethren last yesterday from the program, not Thursday, as well. I talked to him about him, him, him son. The brethren they used to live with I in Jamaica yeah, and in Africa for years now. And one of the child them was his son. And him a fight for that. If we make them realize eh, it's a joke thing for you to tell you say you can't have lots in a school because that go on and you so to last year them stop a youth from go school and we have to we have to create hell down here so feed. You know see? And it's really sad for no you go to Africa and have to face the same kind of problem. With, with these little neo-colonialist leaders um, where them have a scatter all over Africa. A purely neo-colonialist in Africa now a fight. I said them are lead black people when really and truly them are lead people into the same white supremacist mentality from France and England and anywhere the European country them there. Them still are maintain that European thinking and that. So we you now need, we need education. That is beyond education. You know, we need so educate. And even some of them leaders there, we have to go in front of them and say, look, you know, this is that, you know, Africa we are working with, African civilization, African redemption. You know, we have an African spirituality that defines us as Rasta, you know, through Emperor Selassie and through the historical references of Africa and the glory of Africa. So, we still have to fight for that. We still have to fight for that. You think it's because of most of these leaders they don't have um, that Pan African Pan African mindset as some of the past um, African leaders. But I don't just tell you said these leaders it's not examples of Africans who should lead Africa. The whole of them is either them get rich off of Africa and I send it send the money go to Switzerland or France or Germany. Or them dead there, I dig out the people them and I create disturbance and the people them thinking, you know, them them, them make them religion only for tribal war through them religion, Islam and Christianity. All of these foreign invasion is not good for Africa. And that is what most of the most of the leaders them know I think you about. 53 countries in Africa. Most of the leaders them is corrupt. Most of the leaders them is Western minded. And most of the leaders them is thiefing the people them and oppressing the people them even more than all the white people them are doing. Judgment. Esther. Yeah, is it 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 um it look away because um you know so, the only leader we saw recently standing up, um, you know, against um, any outside invaders was um, the Virgin Makafui. And, you know, it looked suspect that, you know, he was the one that was standing up against this new, um, what do I call it, new world order system, them that... The yeah, but we don't even know if that is, that is, 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 is true to the point still. We don't know if that is really true to the point because when you dig deep into Tanzania, where go on, where did I go on in Tanzania? And then, it's like him is a, almost like a dictator. See. Him almost like him, him, him put a muzzle on free press, free speech. You know, him tell you say 
the, the, the COVID will go where all you have to do is pray. And him is a Roman Catholic. You know, he, he must say you have to pray. And I, I mean, him do infrastructure work, which is good. You know, I worry about infrastructure. And him stand up to certain the powers, um, which is good. Mm. But when we talk about Pan-Africanists, we are talking about like Jomo Kenyatta and Kwame Nkrumah. You know, there the, the are them kind of people that we are talking about. You know, we are not talking about Sudio, Sudio Pan-Africanists who... Even though him attack certain things, him still oppress the people in my country. And him still do certain things. In that time, as a man, we young, about 60 years old. You know, I mean, like him still. I like him still because anyone who comes stand up against certain powers. We love him. But, you know, when him tell you, say, boy, right now, it's like him say, no, COVID no exists. And like him tell you, say, even if it exists, all you have to do is just pray. And, and, and it will go away. Them thing there is not is not is not explanation to say here's a pan Africanist because there's something out there kill the people them. And we have to find out how we have to really deal with it. You know, whether you go go the way of where you call it now, build up your immune system. Some people want to go the way of vaccine. Some people want to go the way of locking themselves and all them where they and we show you. You know, these leaders is corrupt to the bone. Corrupt, very corrupt. I don't, I don't see no leader right now in Africa where I did hold up and say this man is a good leader. I don't see none. I don't see none at all. None. Out of the fifty are different country, I can't pinpoint one and say this one is the one where I personally would have hold. And in my lifetime, I see a whole people could have hold. Yeah, it's it it's serious. It's really serious. Um. Jack the eye memory a little bit. Coral Gardens, um the fourteenth of April are gonna be um the memorial. Um Yeah, we, we celebrate it already though. True, true. It was Good Friday. Yeah. It, we celebrate more the, 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 the day of the okay. Good Friday and Holy Thursday rather than the date. You know. So last week was a big celebration of going for the elders them as usual and all these things. So it gone, gone. The celebration in Jamaica gone. But how 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 does it sit with the with with the eye? Because when 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 you look on it or uh, when you reflect back on what took place, Zane, it 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 like the massacre itself have a ripple effect on the movement of Rastafari because at, at the incident itself and then the following years Rasta did still go under that um, form of persecution then mm. how, 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 how it sit with the eye you know looking looking back well yeah, certain developments happen one the government apologize mm. two them open a fund a, 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 a account to the elders them, which like I think is about a hundred million or something. Ten million. They have a, eh? Ten million. No man, that's a long time something man. They put more money than that. What two from two thousand and seventeen? Yeah man, they put no money than that. Man. Okay. All right. So what I'm now is that you have a what them call a Carol Garden um council long a man to go be there. Where a whole people once come together and now them have a a home, they have a home for some of the, the elders, them, where they take care and call it like a center, a daycare center, where they set up, you know, they build up a daycare center. And now the government, them just buy some land, about a hundred acres, where they have to use to plant and all them something there. So things is going along, even though it a grind, it a grind still, you understand? So, we have to watch the government because sometimes the government do these things forget, forget people for come from them side. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the Caragan Benevolent Society, I know the brethren and the sister in them, and I hope say them don't make them get twist and turn because because well, no one accept the government apology, really. Because it's not really an apology. Wholeness never really apologize if you do them apologize. And we are watch all this thing and we don't matter about the money because since them get all the money, I will be the elders in pass away. You know, see, since the time when they apologize and said them how much ten million dollar in our account, 
I will validate that them pass away. But them, them put some more upon it, so it was able for help. I can't, I can't just interview the sister who is the president. Uh, them, them was able to, you know, get out at the care center for, for a holy parallel as them, who will go through the trial. But now, we need now reparation for Rasta in general in a Jamaica. Because right. we can't talk about we have got to go in for reparation in England when the government and us so, will represent the Queen still. Don't repair the damage that them deal with. So that is really the next move. The next move is, yes, we love all the elders them, them a move. We love all the the the, 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 the sister in them from the from the um the benevolent Rastafari benevolent society a move slowly and sure and figure out certain things for the elder them. But then there's a bigger picture I know for the way because Carol God never just affect the bridge in the middle of Montego Bay, it affects the whole island. Right, the ripple effect, that is the ripple effect. You know, over the place. You know, see, so that is really something where we have to deal with. How we're going to now deal with the reparation, the, 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 the repairing of the damage that has been done for much years with the elders them, and mm -hmm. even I and I who they have so now. Said we. Because certainly that, that was school and all them something there. Where Rasta see them till a whole time about John Jay like a year and all them Rasta. We are sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> I fear you, I fear you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, me, them still a whole Rasta in a level way. Them a go like say them no understand say. We, 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 them, them, it's joke. It's joke business. When them deal with it that way, they so. Yes, we have, we have the fight, the struggle still a go on. The struggle still going on. As it relates to that, you know. So, in 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 a nutshell, then um, what did I say? Um, the 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 governing body should have really um contact their superior, which is the crown here in in the UK, and and start to agitate towards the people them um, reparation and repatriation and so on. Follow, yes. Following the, them, the, them, the, have a, them have a them have a, a reparation committee still, you know. They have a reparation committee about how much years now under the Ministry of Culture, Bob Zigwe. They have a reparation committee. And they have a Caribbean Caricom. committee mm. where we are dealing with certain things. But as I say, them think they grind slow. So the whole are just dead off and then the younger ones them forget to deal with. And that is it. So we have to make sure say it don't work that way there. You know, we have to make sure of that because these people have tricks in trade, you know what I mean? True, true. Because the prince, the, the king, the prince man, they're dead now. Queen Elizabeth Sugo. Because, you know, say them things are going away there. You know, them usually when the husband dead or the wife dead, the wife or the husband go around the corner soon so, and true. pass away. And then they are a younger one, they all come and go like, say, they're more hip and more in tune. And we don't want that because we are them is not friends. True. Sure. Well, is not friend. You understand? We want to deal with repatriation, reparation, as how it was. Rastafari, Prince Emmanuel used to chant reparation, repatriation. And that's still up on the table. Same that way. is still on the table. Same way. Same way. And yeah, we don't want to um, deviate from that. You know, we want to no, we're not deviating from it. We're not deviating from it. Because our whole power is dead for this and suffer for this. You know, we go through so much things. You know, we go to jail for ganja three times and we don't smoke ganja. You know, they the same thing there. Rasta. General. Um, why, why, um, when the church, His Majesty allegedly send the church from um, Ethiopia, Zin? Uh, yeah, Ebenezer, around about 76, um, 1986, I think, about them time there. Yeah. Um, why Rasta would have run the church? Zin, was it because when them virgin they came to Jamaica, they were saying that Rasta had to um, cut the locks if they wanted to join the church? Or... And that's wrong with that. That's wrong with that. Them also don't. 
hear his majesty in the church. I know say, oh, I could have been a rascal and sit down in that church. I can't say him Christ, I say the Almighty. You know, I don't see that. Them think there's some joke business. You see, if if if, if you are dark or you are rasta, mm -hmm. and you go in that church, we still like, go and let them a Roman Catholic. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and all them something. And you sit down there and hear the man them a talk, so and you say, Emperor, it's like, say, I, Ja, Rastafari. Right? It's like, it's a no, no. I, I couldn't go deal with that. How would people to go in there go deal with it? Because they want to change the name, and because they say, it's like, it's saying, it, come here. All them things that people go to war, but Rastafari did have its own understanding and cultural expression already. Mm -hmm. You know, see? So to me, I know me the church send for. You know, see? I know me the, the eyes have to send the church for. Because we've done Rasta already. And we've done set up nationally and internationally, spiritually and physically, a concept and a culture that define we. It never define we in rights and rights of a church. It define we in the liberty the experience that we experience in the system as well, and come out of the system, in the system, but not of the system. We develop certain behaviors and attitudes. You know, how we eat, how we talk, how we look, you know, our aspirations, all of these things we develop, just as it is by ourselves. Rastafari. I, I did a reason with an elder um, recently, Zenon. He was putting a lot of emphasis on that the movement of Rastafari has forgotten a code, Zin, which is death before the honor. They are tried this tried a long time. They are they are know of that code, my lad. No, I don't know about no code about no death before the sun. That's how people are talking about other things. I don't know if Rasta have no code about death before the sun. That is why a man was said because he must say. No, I, I, I prefer a man prefer dead before they get dishonored. That is what soldiers say in a war. That soldiers say, but it's not a Rasta code. It's a code where soldiers, and if you want to call yourself a Rasta soldier, well, it go for you too. But there's no argument about death before dishonor in Rasta. You can't take that as a as a as a as a mantra because you feel say, well, I better you're dead before a man dishonor you. Which is so, it did not go all the while. Every day we have been dishonored, I will not kill nobody. And we, you know, every day them kill we. Mm -hmm. And we still not kill nobody. So I don't know, I have no code we say that in Rasta. I don't have code we say that in the army. Our people take up that code because them feel say, instead of a man capture you alive, you just kill yourself. <laughs> that madness. <laughs> You know, that is really where the code comes from, you know. The code comes from soldiers who are saying, instead of the army catch you and torture you and try to get things out of you, you just kill yourself. That has come from a long time, long, long, long time. But you don't know of that in a Rastafari. Right? No, no, that is individual thinking, individual saying, you know, just that people... Come up with these things. I don't know. I'm only part of me or people say Rasta this, Rasta that, and I know Rasta is individual man attack. So the the, the 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 narrative that we hear going out there that um uh, the movement have lost that militancy about it because of you know recent recent things that we see um public figure as as you know even rasta artists we see out there you now rasta celebrate christmas rasta celebrate they Easter call it, and all call of it rasmus yeah call it rasmus what kind of madness that rasta call rasta call the center i just like to hurt as rasmus i look at last where i get last again i go around the corner i get last again Oh, 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 I used to ask the birthday to become Rasmus. You know, man, I said, when I celebrate all Ethiopia and Christmas, 7th of January, 6th of January, all them something. We have our own things where we did celebrate. Marcus Gavi birthday, Emancipation Day, you know, I used to ask the Earth Day, Carnation Day, all of these things we celebrate. And now we have tried 
It's like a man of us said, Jesus black. You know, when we get Jesus so black and him do the same thing with the white Jesus say, do. And and, and him, him, him have the same thinking like the white Jesus. But all him do is change the color. That don't make no sense. You can't change the color. It's not the color why you say about it, you know. It's because of the thinking. And the thinking say, Jesus turn water into wine. I'm dead. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.